que viva Fidel, que viva Fidel, que viva el que señores, comandante Evo Morales, aprendimos la lección. Hey, this is Zoe from People's Dispatch. I'm here in Santiago, Chile, in the municipality of Recoleta. We're here at the closing act of the Dilemmas of Humanity Conference, the Latin American Caribbean Regional Conference uh, that took place here in Santiago. Uh, it was three days of debates, of discussions, and of deep reflections amongst over 200 members of social movements, trade unions, and left parties from across uh, Latin America and the Caribbean. There were over 23 countries represented uh, in this conference, uh, bringing reflections about what it means uh, to build socialism today in the 21st century. What are the key challenges, actually, to building this socialism? What does it mean to have a plural, diverse socialism today in Latin America? And what are the biggest threats really facing the region? Como el sistema sabe también que su crisis es estructural, que nos habla es que no hay futuro, es que no es posible. Hollywood, la industria cultural, todos los días nos dice que es más posible el fin del mundo que el fin del capitalismo por los meteoros, por las invasiones, por todo, pero el capitalismo no es de siempre eterno. Socialism is fighting directly against hierarchy. You can't build socialism if you have a racist society. You can't build socialism with patriarchy. Socialism plus patriarchy is insanity. It doesn't work. You've got to fight against social hierarchy. You've got to build a dignified world. <laughs> Um, the focus was, of course, on building solutions, on building collective solutions, on solutions that unite the peoples of the America and the working class. Um, very, very interesting debates, and these debates are all going to be brought uh, to the International Dilemmas of Humanity Conference that will be held in Johannesburg, South Africa, in the month of October. A very interesting process that tries to bring in intellectuals, artists, and other sectors of society uh, with the with the prem with the idea that. Uh, it is no longer uh, the moment to do diagnosis, but it's really the moment to build solutions. Hay que batallar en contra de la dictadura mundial. Hay que lograr la democracia verdadera en el mundo. Y eso pasa por el desarrollo de todas estas frentes, polos y núcleos de, 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 de encuentros regionales y mundiales que rompan con el modelo imperialista. Socialism is about rescuing the collective life. Socialism is about rescuing the collective life from alienation, from the feeling of alienation, atomization. El pueblo unido jamás será vencido. And this conference, of course, very important to remember that it takes place at the 50th anniversary of the coup against Alvaro Allende uh, in Chile. Of course, many of us remember this date, September 11th, 1973. Um, a coup against a popular government, uh, the popular unity government, actually. Um, a coup which took out Salvador Allende, where he lost his life um, and started a period of a brutal, brutal dictatorship. Uh, thousands of people detained and disappeared. A, a regime of human rights violations, of uh, rewriting the constitution, of taking away people's fundamental mental rights, a problem that Chile is still grappling with today, 50 years since this coup d'etat. Uh, today, September 4th, is actually the 53rd anniversary of the victory of Salvador Allende and his popular unity government in the elections. And so today, remembering that victory, remembering the 50 years of the coup, very, very important date, not only for the people of Chile, but of course the people of Latin America and of the entire world. Métale que traigo un pueblo en mi voz. Métale a la marcha, métale al tambor. Métale que traigo un pueblo en mi voz. 
There's a natural mystic blowing in the air. If you listen carefully now, you will hear. This could be the first trumpet, might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer, many more will have to die. Don't ask me why, don't ask me why, don't ask me why. Viva the revolution of the peoples! Viva! The Dilemmas of Humanity process is going to be continuing. We'll be continuing to follow it with People's Dispatch and we'll be on the ground, of course, in Johannesburg, South Africa, in a month's time.